Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve two examples which are quite related with each other from the book of Mechanics of Materials by R.C. Hibbler. So let's solve first example which is example number 33. In this example we are being asked to calculate maximum allowable clamping force which is being applied with the help of this C clamp. So this force is required what we have been given, we have been given with the average shear stress of 80 kPa that is being applied. Now what is the scenario? In this example, these triangular blocks are glued on the wood. So if the glue can withstand a maximum average shear stress of 80 kPa, then we are being asked to calculate the force that is going to act at this amount of stress. Since the type of stress is shear stress, it means uh, we need to know the force which should be parallel to wood and the triangular blocks. So in order to have the parallel force, we need to consider this triangular. And over that triangular, a force with the help of this C clamp is being applied that is actually required. So let's draw the free body diagram of this triangular block where the force F is acting. So this magnitude should be determined. So the C clamp is placed in such a way that uh, this angle would be perpendicular, total angle would be 90. So we can resolve then this uh, force in terms of its horizontal component and vertical component. Let's name the horizontal component as FH and vertical component as FV. Since this angle is 45 that we can see in this triangular, so then this angle will also be 45. So then this horizontal component would be equal to F cos 45. Now if this triangular block is in equilibrium, then this horizontal force should be balanced by the horizontal force that is being applied at the joint between the triangular block and the wood. It means this will also be then F cos 45. Now we know the shear stress at this point and we can have the area because the dimensions are given. The length is 50 mm and width is 25 mm. Similarly, we can have the same dimension for this uh, triangular block as well. Let's extend this. So this side is of 25 mm and this side is of 50 mm. Now we can have the area of this as 50 multiplied by 25. And if you want to convert it into meter, then you need to divide by 1000. And ultimately we are going to have area as 1.25 into 10 raised to power minus 3 meter square. So we know the formula for the shear stress. Shear stress is actually calculated as shear force divided by shear area. So shear stress is given which is 800 kPa. Shear force we just had as F cos 45 and shear area is 1.25 into 10 raised to power minus 3. So in this equation where we can see that only F is the variable everything else is given so we can have then the value of force as 1.41 kN. Moving on to next example example number 34 so in this example instead of uh, shear stress we have been given with the force that is being applied with the help of the C clamp and which is 900 Newton and we are being asked to calculate the average shear stress that is being developed in the glued shear plane. So again drawing the free body diagram of this triangular block. The same force is being applied now we are being given with the value of that force which is 900 Newton. Same story, the horizontal component of uh, this force that should be balanced by the shear stress that is being developed at the glued plane. So this horizontal force would be equal to 900 cos 45 since uh, this angle is 45. So this will also be 45. So on doing calculation, we are going to have the horizontal force as 636.40 Newton. So this force should also be 63. 6.40 Newton since the dimension of the shear area which is 50 millimeter by 25 millimeter 
is no so now we can calculate the shear stress that is being developed by applying this much amount of force would be then equal to shear stress is equal to shear force which is 636.40 divided by the shear area that we had calculated before which is 1.25 into 10 to power minus 3 so on doing calculation we are going to have 509 kPa as the shear stress that is being developed due to the application of 900 Newton force through the C clamp. So this is how the calculation for this kind of example is being done. If the shear stress is known how we can calculate shear force. If the shear force is known how we can calculate the shear stress. So this is all from this video where we have learned about the calculation of shear stress and shear force in real-time application problem. That's all from this video. Thank you for watching this video.